All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is finally D-Day. We are gonna go ahead and take the Beamer to Blaze Cycle and finally get it dyno tuned. It's been a long time coming. I'm excited myself. I know you guys gotta be excited. It's something you guys have been waiting for. You've asked me all over Instagram and uh, here in boxing and YouTube, when's it actually gonna get done? Well, today is the day it's gonna get done. So I'm just real quick, I'm just gonna go on ahead and put a bass tune in it because I had my own uh, semi-tune that I created just to run it around on the street. It was fair okay, but we're actually gonna go ahead and get the real tune. Go ahead and put a bass tune in it, run it to the dyno shop, strap it down with the bass tune that came from BMW, see what it makes as far as the stock trim and what it's gonna put down to get the before and after and then he's gonna put his tune, do his works and we'll see what the final number is. We're hoping for big numbers. I appreciate the inbox comments of what you guys think it's going to do. I have an idea of what I think it's going to do, but I'll let you guys know at the end of the video if I'm disappointed, not disappointed, you know, whatever it's going to be. But overall, it's just a number. It's realistically, as long as there's an improvement, that's the progress we're going to. So don't get too gung-ho and hung up on the number if it only makes 150, but I know it's not going to make 150, but if it only makes you know a little bit more than what it did over stock. Remember, it's not about how much more it makes at the tip of the curve, it's what it does through the curve, and that's where you're really gonna feel the power. So let's go on ahead and get this thing going, get it loaded up, get it out, and we're gonna head over to buy a cycle, and we'll see you there shortly. All right, guys, so we finally made it here. It's Blaze Cycle here in uh, Dania Beach. We're going ahead and get the bike strapped to the dyno. My guy, Paul's gonna go ahead and put the tune on it. He just wheeled it back through here. As you can see, some other projects and stuff he's got on. If you guys need any dyno tuning or anything like that, this guy's the man. He's actually recommended and highly recommended through all of the forums and anything else. And people that I've talked to that's got turbo boosters, other S1000s. And if you have an S1000, you guys know it's a very niche bike and not a lot of people want to tune it. But this is the place to be. So definitely give a shout out to them. He's got a website. I'll include it in the description below. But we're going to go ahead and get back there and see what we can do and start making a baseline power and see how much power we can actually make. All right, gentlemen, we're going to see how much this piece of shit actually makes on the dyno and we'll see how much magic Paul can actually do. He's the magic man, according to the internet. Just leave everything you hear on the internet. <laughs> We'll see what this bad boy can do. He's getting there all strapped down, get ready to roll. Again, guys, need some good ass dyno tuning or anything, come to Blaze Cycle, he'll take care of you. All right, guys, here we go. Baseline run. Let's see what my old bird will do. Woo, she's lean. back runs nice baseline Moving up my chain. Yeah. Like I said, guys, this guy is highly recommended, not only on the internet, but from other performance shops. His name is Paul. He's the owner of Blaze Cycle. If you need some crotch rockets, some high boosted tuning, 
uh, definitely check him out. Check out his website again. The link will be in the description below. Correcting that fuel trim right there, if you guys can see that on the computer, using the Power Commander 5 on DinoJet software. Right here, gentlemen, what he's doing is toning that throttle position, meaning the drivability, so he's not going to just tune it for full throttle at the tip curve again. The most important thing is how much power you gain through the power curve, not at the tip. If I can gain 20 horsepower through the power curve, I'd rather gain that than 30 at the tip. And I apologize here for the glare. guys so he's running through we're at the moment right now he's got to let it cool off but he's running through each throttle position you know by five percent each um, he just told me what it just dyno that in a stock baseline any guesses and stock trim with a shitty tune well it's still cooling down here in the dyno right now but it baselined at 194 not bad for a shit tune and a crap tune but we're going for that 200 number we shouldn't be able to have any issues reaching it however it's more about the power curve, like I told you, and not exactly what's at the top. But in a shitty tune and a bad tune and just nothing that's just off the shelf, off the wall, 194 to the tire, not at the crank, we're making some power. We're headed that way. So my exhaust, my tunes, and everything else, I know it's coming together. I know it's working. We're going to go ahead and go for the big one. So again, we're just going to let it cool off. The hot, oil's hot, fuel's hot, the engine's hot. Let it cool off and then... We'll be making some pulls and we'll keep going through and we'll get the final numbers with the dyno graphs. Again, I'll post the dyno graphs, take some pictures or a video showing you guys and upload it into the video so you guys just know I'm not full of BS. But I definitely want to show you guys. It's been a long time coming, it's been a long time waiting. I've been waiting for it for a while, you've been waiting for a while. Dyno's fixed, we're making some power. about to finish up here on the last session I think he's gonna do one more final run just as a quick run out to get the final dyno numbers let's hope we get to that big number again I know but it's just only for my own sanity like we should be okay uh, we're getting let the bike cool down for a minute let that thing run down um, it is hot I just saw the temperature on it was at like 215 degrees so we don't want to have it too hot to pull any timing or have any detonation again we're still only on 93 octane so We'll see what we can get. We'll see what we can get out of her. But overall, I'm so far, I'm so happy with the results. And uh, we'll get the final sheets. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, looks like this is going to be the final pull. 
we'll see what the final numbers are going to be. Paul just gave me some advice. He just told me that everything is looking good as far as the air fuel ratios. We'll see if we can get out of this joker. for takeoff. do this here to Gabriel's heart. Oh my god, it's Robert <laughs> from the Speedbug channel. <laughs> we have to do that to your bike soon, huh, man? Yeah, there you go. Yep. I'm next. <laughs> Alright, so that's the final run. About to get the dyno graphs. He's packing up everything, getting ready to get the bike off the dyno. We're looking good. I could see the graph already from the distance. I know you guys can't, but I know my man did some wizardry, and this is going to be a good one. This is the Holy Grail. I've been waiting for this for about a month now, and I know you guys have as well. So let's go on ahead and get that graph, and reveal those details. Bike's getting ready to come out of the dyno room, and we should be good. So let's see your wizardry, brother. Everyone, look at that. You can't focus. 199.66. So damn near we'll call it 200. 200. Damn it, Paul, my man. Thank you so much. No you guys need some tuning? Make sure you check out Blaze Cycle. He's down here in Dania Beach. He definitely did some wizardry. I'll post a graph. I'll post the link in the description and post this as well. No complaints whatsoever. But this is the holy grail. 200 wheel to the tire. 199.6. So I don't know. Let it be a little cooler outside, and you'll get your extra horsepower with your Ram Air. So again, getting ready to get this bad boy off the dyno, taking her out. No complaints whatsoever. Again, if you guys need BMW, Suzuki, Triumph, you know, uh, Kawasaki, this man does it all. Make sure you check out Blaze Cycle here in Dania Beach. We can take care of you. I can tell you this, um, the pricing as far as the dynoing, it's, uh, it varies per motorcycle, but being an S1000, being one of the most pain in the ass bikes to tune, he was very reasonable and very fair uh, based off of what I wanted him to do and the custom tune that I just had him write. So definitely make sure you guys check him out and uh, he'll take care of you. Here she is. 
coming out of fresh out of the dino room. Go on ahead and take a nice quick view of her. God damn. That's 200 wheel horsepower right there, baby. 200 wheel. She finally did it. She finally made it. A couple of you guys were right. A couple of you guys were doubting me. But she finally did it. More than pleased. Again, more than happy. If you guys need anything, definitely come check him out. Here's the graph. I'm going to post a quick picture, but you guys can see it. I mean, look at that. Over 5 to 10 horsepower through the power curve. That's, that's, that's stunning. That's stunning as far as the drivability and how smooth the graph itself is. So, more than happy, more than thank you. I'll do a quick close out, and we'll see you back at the garage. All right, again, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. Got the old bike back in the garage from Blaze Cycle. Got the before and after graph here. So I can open this up. This is a graph showing everything as stated earlier before in the video. I'm going to go ahead and post this up so you guys can see this. Um, like I said, she made 199.66 horsepower to the tire. So we'll then round up, call it 200. She made 200 exactly. That's the number I was shooting for. With Ram Air, it says an extra 15 to 20 horsepower per BMW. So then it would definitely be over, but uh, you know that 0.6, you know, maybe change it, do an oil change, or let the bike cool off a little bit, and there you go, you got your 200, your 201. So this comes to bottom line, she made 200 horse. That's the number we were shooting at. I appreciate all the comments and everything that you sent to me on the Instagram and the inbox here through YouTube. But that's going to conclude it today. Power Commander 5 put in. Paul Blaze Cycle went ahead and tuned this bad boy. She did the number. As far as riding, I did get a little, do a little bit of riding today. As far as the drivability between 10 and 90% throttle, it is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely perfect. And it's even better than it was when it came from BMW. So I have no, uh, no complaints. And uh, I can't thank Paul enough at Blaze Cycle for doing the great job that he did. But that's going to conclude it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. But most of all, please don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you again for another episode on the Speed Bike channel. And we will go ahead and take this bad boy out and go out and do some, some wheelies and maybe some speed runs. And then next stop is definitely the track. Take it easy, guys.